Hey first graders, it's Mrs. Daniel. Today we're going to work on lesson 14 in module 2. Let's look at our objective. Model subtraction of 9 from teen numbers. So before we were working with numbers from 10 and now we're looking at from teen numbers. But first, again, so I'm going to flash a card for two to three seconds and then when I snap my fingers, um, you're going to say the number and when I clap my hands, you're going to say the partner to 10. Okay, so if, I, if you saw the number, you saw five dots, the partner to 10 would be five. So what plus that number equals 10 is what you're thinking about. Here we go. How many? Five. What's the partner? Five. Very good. How many? Three. What's the partner? Good. How many? Eight. Very good. What's the partner? Two. How many? Ten. What's the partner? Oops. Zero. Ten plus zero equals ten. How many? Seven. What's the partner? Three. Very good. How many? Six. What's the partner? Three. Four. Four. How many? Three. Okay. Right. We have a new problem. Cheyenne has 12 eggs. He uses nine of them to make breakfast for his family. How many eggs are left? So he has 12 eggs and he uses nine of them. How could you solve this problem? What could you do? Hmm. Could you draw a picture? You can draw a picture. So I drew five and five, that equals 10, and two more. So I drew 12 eggs, and then we're gonna cross off nine of them because he used nine eggs. How many are left? One, two, three. He has three eggs left. You can count on from nine. So you could say nine in your head and count up to 12, so 9, 10, 11, 12. And then look how many fingers you have up. One, two, three. Three fingers up, that means there's three eggs left. Hmm. You could make a number bond. So 12 can be separated into 10 and two. And then you're gonna take away nine from 10, which equals one, and then you still have two left, so one plus two equals three. Here is a stick of 12 linking cubes to show how many eggs Cheyenne had in the beginning. So Cheyenne had 12, so we have 12 right here. And we could break off two and have a group of two and a group of 10. Now we need to take away nine. Where should we take nine from? Should we take it from two? No, that wouldn't make any sense. Should we take it from this big group of 10? Yes, we should take it from the group of 10. So when you take nine from this group of 10, there's one left, and then you still have this group of two that was here before. So 12 minus nine equals three. Look at this problem, 11 minus nine. So we have 11 here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And we're gonna take away, well first let's separate it. Break off into 10 and one. 
Hmm, where should we take our nine from? From the yellow cube? No, should we take it from the blue cubes? Yes, we have lots of blue cubes, so it makes sense that we would take it from this group of 10. So we're going to take 9 from 10, and we're left with 1, and this is the one that was here before. So 9, um, sorry, 11 minus 9 equals 2. Let's look at another problem. 14 minus 9. First, we should break off a 10 and 4. So we're going to separate those. So now we have a group of 10 and we have a group of 4. And we need to take away 9. Where should we take the 9 from? Should we take it from the blue group? Yes, we should take it from the blue group, which is a group of 10. So we're going to take 9 from 10. I'm going to take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're going to take all 9 of these, and we're going to be left with 1. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4 yellows. When you count all of them, 4 plus 1 more equals 5. Let me show you how we can solve this on my whiteboard. And draw it out. 14 minus 9. Because you may not have blocks at home, but you have paper that you can draw it. So, 14 minus 9. The first step is we're going to draw a group of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is called a 10 frame. We're going to fill it with 10. And then we still need four more. And we're going to do one, two, three, four. So we have a picture showing 14. And now we're going to cross out nine. And we're going to do it from our big group of 10 up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And how many do we have left? We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 left. Okay? So you can do this whether you have blocks, or if you have a piece of paper, you can draw it out. Let's look at another problem. Okay. 10 is a friendly number, and when we take a number from 10, we'll call it the take away from the 10 strategy. Take from 10 strategy. So draw a picture to show how we can take 9 away from 10 to solve 17 minus 9. So as you can see, we drew 17 circles. Why don't you go ahead and do that on your paper? And I'll go ahead and do that on my whiteboard. Draw 17 circles. If you want to put it into the 10 frame, I think that's a great idea. But if you don't put it in the 10 frame, that's okay too. 17 circles. Are you drawing it? Go ahead. Pause this video if you need more time. I'm almost ready to show you mine. I did 10, and now I'm doing 7 more. Okay. Here's what I did. So I drew, I drew 17, and now I have to cross out how many? Nine. I have to cross out nine. 
So I'm going to start right up here with my big group of 10, and I'm going to take away 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now I'm going to look and see what am I left with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Another way that we could solve this problem is that 17 is broken up into a 10 and 7. And we need to take away 9. So if we take 9 away from 10, 10 minus 9 equals 1. Now we have 1 and 7. That gives us 8. Right? That's just another way that you could solve it. Okay, nice job. Let's go back to our slideshow. And they're going to cross out 9. And what do we have left? 8, just like we just did. Okay, this time we have 15. So we're going to draw 15 circles. And we're going to cross out 9 of them. And then we're going to see how many do we have left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is going to be our last one for today. 18 minus 9. They already drew 18 for you. Go ahead and draw 18 on your paper. I'll give you a second to do that. Draw 18 on your paper. 18 circles. Okay, if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. What should we do? We need to take away 9. What should we do? We should cross out 9, right, from our group of 10 here. We'll cross out 9 of them. And how many do we have left? We have 9 left. Very good. All right, friends, that's all for today. It was so nice to work with you, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.